if you would love to have more of a flow of patients or clients coming in the door, one overlooked avenue to have that happen is not necessarily by getting new patients. It has to do with the two R's. Do you ever feel like you get patients and then you end up needing to be attracting new patients again? And that cycle can feel exhausting, especially if you're getting people good outcomes. Imagine attracting more referrals into your practice. How could you inspire more patient referrals into practice? So that's the first R. We're going to talk about the second R in a moment here. And the other possibility is, have you ever had patients who end up either disappearing because they didn't end up booking another appointment for whatever reason, or maybe they went on vacation and they never rescheduled and then they just kind of disappeared or you got them well and, and then you just haven't seen them for ages now. Has that ever happened to you before? So what if those people could still benefit from you helping them with other things now? Have you ever helped someone before they came to you for one thing and then they didn't even realize you could help them with other things? So chances are, if you have patients who have seen you before and aren't seeing you right now, that there's a possibility of them getting being able to get more help from you. Or there is possibility of inspiring people who uh, inspire referrals as well. And so that's the second R. <laughs> and that can really help with growing the practice. I mean, if you really think about it, let's look at even the first R, right, Wh which we talked about, which is referrals, attracting more patients from referrals. How many referrals are you getting right now? And what if you were able to be receiving double the number of referrals as you've been getting? Or maybe if you aren't getting as many referrals yet, then what if we could increase referrals significantly? Inspiring more referrals into the practice can be increasing your patient flow without you having to do new marketing to be attracting patients in the door. So let's talk about the first R, the uh, attracting more patient referral side of things. So many times I often hear from practitioners about how, well, but I don't know what to do to inspire referrals, or I'm afraid of bugging people or feeling awkward or a bit pushy, or just don't want to feel weird about it. Have you ever felt that way before? It's like, well, how am I going to ask for referrals? Or I think this should be organic. Like, it, I think this should just be if they want to refer, then they refer. But did you know that there's a study done on this? Did you know that 89% of people who are satisfied with their services are willing to refer? But guess what percentage actually do refer? So this study said it was like around 29%. So why do less than half the people who are willing to refer actually refer? It's usually because of one of three reasons. And the first reason is because even if they come to you for one thing, they may not even realize you can help them with other things. That could be one possibility. The second possibility of, of, of why you may not be getting as many referrals as you could be is because even if they're telling other people about you, it's not carrying through translation. For example, we had a client of ours who had a patient super excited. And she came in one day saying, oh, I was telling so-and-so about you that you're amazing. It's like voodoo. And he thought, oh my goodness, you're telling them that it, it's like voodoo. <laughs> so even the best intentions may not carry through translation to the point where the referral will come in. And the third reason is because even if they appreciate you, it may not be top of mind awareness. You know, they get busy and it's not like they go about their day every day thinking, oh, I need to refer. So the question is, how can you inspire more referrals without feeling like you're bugging people or too much, right? So then part, there are really two main keys to attracting more referrals. Number one, is in what are you say? What number one is in what you say that can help inspire referrals. Number two is in 
what do you have in place that supports referrals? So whether it's what people see or what you give them uh, or your process that helps support and inspire referrals. Do you have a good system in place for this? And one that feels good also, and that it works as well too, because it's more fun that way. Imagine having more people you are helping through referrals. And then the second R that we talked about earlier is about reactivation. When we normally think about this, we just think, oh, okay. So if they haven't been in it for a while, they'll come in if they feel like coming in. But the thing is people get busy and they might just forget. So do you have a system in place that supports it? Do you have processes in place that support reactivating patients who may have been in from before to come in? So this could be through what you're saying to people. Maybe it might be a, a personal connection done by your front desk or by you. It might be by email. It could also be by texting. For example, one of our clients is a chiropractor and she increased her patient flow from 200 a week to 300 a week in her practice within a matter of just a few months by putting these things, the reactivation process in place and also in inspiring referrals. So this is something that can be immediately impactful in your practice to help you. You, you will see an immediate increase in your practice with this. But many times I see that a lot of holistic health practitioners don't have a good approach to this, or it's not really consistent within the practice. You know, if it's not consistent, there's not as much of a rhythm with it, then you might find yourself busy. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, where's everyone? Right. So this is what inspired me to have a workshop coming up on this exactly. The focus is going to be new patients from reactivation and referrals, helping you with getting simple things in place that support an immediate increase in your practice through reactivation and referrals. If you're at a place where you're seeing at least 10 patients a week, then this is for you because there is total low hanging fruit right there for you in your practice. You just need to have a good approach to it to be able to help more people and attract more people in. And then if you have an associate or more than one associate, or if you have admin staff, you can send them to this workshop. So it's four live hands-on workshops. And I'm going to be helping you with getting some key things in place that support increasing patient flow in your practice right away. And you can check out the details in my post and also click on the link to register now. And I can't wait to see you and help you. This is something that is, it's like many times in practice when you get busy, it's one of the, the things that um, most practitioners don't think to focus on. And, and even if you already have an, a, an approach in place, but it's not working as well as you would like, then some of the things I'm going to help you with will help with it. We're going to, anything we have done for you, templates, scripts, and frameworks for, we'll give it to you. So you're not having to reinvent the wheel there. So I'm also including some copy and paste, literally copy, paste, and then also you can incorporate your style to it and hit send button too for part of it that can be put more on autopilot as well. So it's being able to reactivate through your patients and help them more and then also inspire referrals from patients and, and people you know too. So, so I can't wait to help you with this and click on the link and then register for, and I can't wait to help you. So this is one of the few approaches where you could put in place and you could be using over and over and over again throughout your whole lifetime of your practice. It's not just something you benefit from once, but you will benefit from it now to increase patient flow. You will also benefit from it throughout the years that you practice. And with every person you end up hiring, they can also help you too, whether it's an admin person or whether it is associate who will help support 
with bringing in more patients and patient referrals as well. So can't wait to help you and see you soon. Register now and we'll see you soon.